Hey there, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you for joining me here today. Okay, so let's see what we got to come through the cards. What is your person feeling about you overall? We have the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries here, possibly. We have the Four of Cups, aka my least favorite card in the deck. So two fours here. Um, the Two of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. Whew, this person seems to be kind of icing you out or something. Or pretending they don't have feelings. And Oh my goodness, Five of Cups. But they definitely have feelings. And I mean, that is also belied by the Stingray here. To me, this is someone extremely sensitive, very much in their feelings, hurt very, very easily. And we have the Eight of Coins. Wow, this is someone really trying to distract themselves from these deeper feelings from you, from the Knight of Cups. Like, they feel like maybe it's not time, the right time to come forward towards you. A Page of Swords just came off the top of the deck. They could be really keeping an eye on you. Um, I feel like this person actually is uh, quite childish. I feel like they, they act like they're really mature and grown up, but on the inside, they are very childish. Um, not in a really bad way, but just I feel like they hadn't grown into the idea of, like, really stepping into their relationship um, persona. Um, I feel like this person really misses you or they feel like they missed out on a big opportunity with you. Um, yeah, maybe some of them turned away from you because they were working on their business or their career or they just they had other plans or something and they're like, I'm just not going to make it work right now. And actually, they don't feel super great about that decision. They don't feel like they were super certain if they did turn away from you. They're like, what if I miss out on the biggest opportunity of my lifetime? So I feel like this is the I bury myself in work to forget you card in this context. Um, they also might be thinking about reaching out to you again. I do feel like this is probably no to little contact situation. and um, But they're afraid that maybe you're going to reject them. Like you've had time for your feelings to maybe ice over. Maybe you are really into this person very deeply emotional for them. And they feel like if you did reject them, or if you have actually rejected them, um, they actually are very sad about that. So they, they're just like, I just don't want to deal with emotions. This is someone who's just not wanting to deal with emotions. They're just like super all business here. Get one of these, and then we'll get some of these tea leaf cards. All right, here's chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. All right, and decision. This person is undecided. Um, it's time to make a decision about this relationship. So... Some of them are really thinking about, okay, should we maybe, should we maybe try to start something back up here? Something needs to be done. They feel like there is unfinished business between you two. Um, this is saying like, even if they turned away from this, even if they you know acted like they didn't care, it's like they still felt something with you. Definitely felt something there. Some big attraction. Okay, we'll just take those. What do we got with the tea leaf cards? We have um, dog close up um, pleasure with a close friend. So they might have felt that you were a real like that you could be a really close friend. Maybe you tried to get close to them and they kind of um, shut you out. Shut you out. You weren't ready for that. Dogs could be important in this connection as well. And we have ink pot problems to be resolved. Yeah, they feel like there's some communication that needs to be straightened out. They feel like maybe you got the wrong idea from them. Maybe you used to write to them a lot. You guys maybe had really good conversations. Um, interesting that we have a cat, a two-faced friend. Yeah, with this two of swords here. So I feel like sometimes this person gave you like this really serious business face and they like shut you out. And then on, sometimes I feel like they gave you a more sensitive side. So um, maybe they're understanding how they were like kind of two-faced with you in a way. And then interesting here is ring. Um, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. So maybe they'll even reach out to you for a business opportunity perhaps. Um, this person could be seeing like they want commitment in their future and they the decision card might have come up because they might be really starting to think about like a commitment with someone and they might be like, well, I wonder if pile two is still available. Will they take me back? So I feel like they're really trying not to get their hopes up because they could understand if you wouldn't take them back. And here's ear. Good news. So yeah, I feel like they're really keeping an ear out like for maybe communication from you or they're like talking to you about um, talking to others about you. But I just feel like, yeah, they have their, their eyes and their ears on you if they're not actually directly talking to you right now. And their hands. <laughs> um, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So they might want to, like, lend you a helping hand. Like, maybe that's how they're going to try to make something up to you if they do want to try to repair something here. Interesting, the first card out was Aries because um, uh, the Aries reading this week was repairing something broken. So let's see here. What else we got? 
We have, I'm feeling so nostalgic lately. Thinking about you always makes me smile. So yeah, I feel like they could be really getting lost in these feelings. Um, they're going to the depths of their feelings with the Five of Cups, emotional changes here, and definitely going deeper here. And they're, they're feeling the pain. They're feeling the pain of missing you. So nostalgia, you know, that's like, um, you know, painful, can be pa painful sentiments. And you do not know this, but you are the reason I get out of bed every morning. Morning, you are my raison d'être, and my reason for being. So even if you're not for this person, they feel like they could, they want someone like that, um, someone who will be the reason for being. They might start be starting to feel very bored with their life, and that's what they're undecided about. They're like, I don't know if I want to keep going on by myself. I want to have a partner. Will Pile Two take me back? I don't know. Okay, and we have, you came closer than anyone. Wow, so interesting because we had that dog close up card. Like, yeah, it's like, they feel like you got up like in their face and in their heart and they felt like you could really figure them out. And I feel like they, they liked it, but then they got really scared and they're like, this is not the right time. Okay, so that's like a confirmation for you that they don't really have like anyone else that they're wanting to get close to. So if they did shut you out, it wasn't because they wanted to let someone else in, at least for most of you here. All right. Wow. Another sensitivity card, sensitive water animal card, the fish. And then we have a very hungry water animal, <laughs> the crocodile here. So uh, this person becomes, they, they're very guarded when it comes to their feelings and how sensitive they are. Um, yeah. Th this is someone I feel they can lash out very easily with the, you know, stingray, the crocodile, because they are so, so, so sensitive. So like they have all these protection mechanisms um, and that's why they just don't let people close to them. They get hurt very, very easily. Okay, so let's see what else are they feeling about you, Pile 2. Here is the Eight of Cups. Again, someone who, it seems like they're trying to deny their feelings. They've been trying to walk away from their feelings for a long time. It's not working. Here's the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been wanting to give it some time to see if the emotions, the feelings would fade. Here's the Knight of Wands. I feel like maybe they've even just gone out exploring just tried to forget it all have a good time but their mind just keeps drawing back getting drawn back to like hey i need to make something right here with pile two justice so you could be dealing with a libra here as well maybe a libra aries mix um they really it's like almost like some of them have traveled the world and it's like they can't run away from this they can't find a way out it's always coming back to haunt them it's a mystery to them they don't know why here's temperance a balance coming through again. We have the hanged man. So this person is in the process of being humbled and in the process of finding some emotional balance where maybe they're not quite so sensitive, where maybe they're trying to build up some kind of armor, some kind of feelings of, okay, I, I'll be okay. I can let myself be a little more vulnerable and sensitive. I feel like they're trying to let the vulnerability in one little bit at a time because they're realizing maybe that's part of a healthy and balanced life for them is being able to have something a little bit closer like a closer connection and here is the three of swords well yeah they're they're working on healing for sure um maybe even doing some writing we had ink pot as well so oh wow this is uh the second ink pot in this reading see it's spilled on this card um they could even be like writing to you and then just like throwing it out like composing things in their mind um maybe even writing some like tragic lyrics or something <laughs> very interesting Definitely listening to some love songs and thinking about you. Maybe wanting to serenade you somehow. They're they're trying to get a good idea on you. I feel like they're trying. They're getting a different perspective on you. Um, maybe they're seeing you have started to balance out. Maybe they thought you were over emotional, overly emotional for a while, and they've seen like you're really coming down to earth. Here's the six of swords, or maybe they even feel like you've moved on. Queen of cups. Okay, that could be you. you. You could be Cancer, possibly. And we have Temperance. Wow, this is interesting. Two, two Temperance cards, the Six of Wands. I feel like they're cheering you on. They feel like you have achieved some state of balance. Um, you have a master. You've mastered your emotions. I was gonna say you have a master's degree, so maybe you do. Like you have a master's degree in your emotions, <laughs> and they're proud of you. They're very, very proud of you. Um, and they're like, but. But crap, I think they've moved on from me. So they, they do feel like they've probably lost their opportunity. But they're like, sail away, sail away, sail away to these greener shores. Even if it's without me. Here's playfulness. 
they miss this is maybe what they miss the most with you is you made them laugh a lot they feel like you really got their sense of humor healing family issues i feel like you also were someone who really cared about them and their family and maybe they're understanding how valuable and special that was and it is safe for you to love this is what they're working on you guys um open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so they are noticing their life does feel a bit empty and lacking without that love especially the love you're able to give because you were able to give them so much and they're just really wondering hey has that has that well run dry i think you're amazing okay again they're like your cheerleader here they're like you're awesome you're way awesomer than i am you're better you're gonna do better than bigger better things than i can here's desire and they just keep watching you and they just keep thinking more and more all the time that you're amazing and they're like i didn't know what i was doing if i pushed you away i'm an idiot i'm an idiot um i run because i fear my feelings yeah and we can see that they have they're extremely extremely sensitive you guys look at how soft these animals are no armor um reconciliation okay so reconciliation could literally be in the cards here for you guys um yeah especially with temperance coming up here twice they're like how do we fix this i need to get i need to figure it out though you know they're, they're really thinking on this because they don't want to come in and maybe just break your heart or be an idiot again is what what is coming through all right wow we have the death card 13 that could be a birth date or a special number here um what else about death so it's like they're reviving themselves um they're they're going through a major 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 ego death or healing process here um it's like they're wow this is just like the heart on this card so their heart is being restored after heartbreak they've had to have some serious time to heal and have kind of like energetic surgery going on and oh my gosh then we have um the star right on the bottom of the deck so it's like they are going to pull through it seems on top of the deck we have the ten of cups okay and here's i'm too afraid to talk to you it makes sense because they're very emo emotionally withdrawn afraid to share those emotions with you still going through that regeneration and transformation at the moment and my life started when i met you so they really do feel like there's a major major turning point when you came into their life um, and here's definitely this is um, sometimes my temperance card in this deck because of the purple blue and red you know combining fire and water combining um, so this is like yes they want a union with you um, seek professional advice so some of them could be like getting some kind of professional advice you know from a doctor or a lawyer or you know something like this a counselor therapist um, even maybe just um, like family members maybe even one of their family members is a therapist and they're trying to just figure out how do i repair this connection with pile two if i ask you to stay would you leave they're so afraid you're going to abandon them so maybe they are working up the courage to um to keep you around um i feel like they just keep uh, to they're working up the courage to be okay with you being like no i don't want this and being okay with anything so if i seek professional advice card when this comes up sometimes i take it as let's just get an advice card for you pile two all right we have the princess of discs so i think this is kind of like the page of pentacles in this deck the kindergarten teacher okay that's cute um that'd be cool if some of you guys are like literally a kindergarten teacher so um what advice can we get from this just be childlike um this person was wrong and that they were being childish but i feel like the answer for you guys is to be very childlike you know do the things that you truly truly enjoy keep doing that keep having fun in your life that's what's going to bring this closer together and that's what's going to help you heal and be okay with whatever happens that's bringing you success and victory with the six of wands here and so speaking of advice we'll get some advice cards from this deck in a few days Okay, in a few days something could shift um for a few of you they might contact you in a few days but maybe just live your life like in a few days anything could just majorly change you are on someone's mind okay this could be like your intuition is correct <laughs> and forgive and let go so um yeah i always like to remind you forgiveness isn't doesn't mean whatever someone did was right 
You never have to excuse someone for their actions. This just means don't let it bother you anymore. Don't let it, um, don't hold on to it and let it bother you and your life. Um, and then you can just make clear, rational decisions from there. You know, you can always remember, just let go. And, you know, don't feel the emotional charge. Just neutralize yourself to it and make your decisions based on the information you have from the past. Um, you have the strength to get through any challenge. Okay, we have, I pretend that I'm happy without you, but the truth is that I'm heartbroken over you. I feel like that is a very good summary of the story of what is going on here with this person. They pretend that everything's good, that they're just successful and awesome and happy. And I wasn't honest about my feelings for you because I was afraid that you would reject me. Yeah, maybe they even rejected you at first and then they started to develop some feelings for you and then they are like, oh crap, you know, what if pile two rejects me? They, they would have felt so stupid. And now they feel like maybe they gave you a real reason to reject them, especially if they stopped talking to you or went their own way or something. I would give it all up to be with you. Prepare yourself. I'm getting ready for union. This is interesting. So yeah, it said like in a few days, so it might not necessarily literally be in a few days. Um, maybe for a few of you though. Um, I feel like this is saying, be ready, prepare yourself, prepare yourself. Um, don't do anything drastic or crazy, but you know, just make um, preparations that improve your life. Um, I have been looking you up on social media because I just want to know if you are doing well. I'm looking out for you. So they are concerned about you. I feel like they do care about you. And um, I was hiding how I was really feeling about you. I was keeping it a secret because I don't feel good enough for you. I'm loving you from afar. And some of them were too stuck in their ego. Okay, um, I feel you with me. So I still feel this connection. And I miss seeing you around. And here is, are we still friends? Yeah, so maybe they're afraid that you would just totally reject them and you wouldn't even want them as a friend. I have a secret. Yeah, I feel like that has mostly to do with their feelings and just how long that they've really been into you, really liked you, really want you. My heart belongs to you. That could be their secret. I feel like that's a simple secret. It's nothing shady and weird. <clears throat> okay, so let's get a shadow message and a light message. I don't know what you want from me or this connection. Yeah, I don't know if you still want me. I don't know if you still love me, still like me. Light message. Okay. We got, um, it's time we got out and had fun. Yeah, like I was saying, this person really misses just having fun with you. You know, they miss you. They think you're super cute. Oh, and I love this as our closing card. Being close with you makes me feel safe. So before, the closer I get to you, the more fearful I become. But it was like a duality where they did feel... They did feel a sense of safety and peace and home with you overall. So, but it was scary that they were letting someone in that far. That, that was like yikes for them. 